Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to put a 3D model on your website with 360 degrees viewer in just a few minutes. Ready? Let's check it out. In this tutorial, we are going to use 3JS, one of the most popular 3D JavaScript library. First of all, we need to find a suitable 3D model. There are lots of free models available on the internet. 3JS recommended to use a model with GLTF format due to small file size and efficiency. So I'm going to download the one that already in GLTF format. But if you already have a model in other formats, 3JS is also support FBX and OBJ file as well. Now once we downloaded the model, I will put all files and folders in the web directory. Next, let's work on the JavaScript. First, include the latest version of 3JS to your page. Next, create a scene, set the background color and camera. You can find more details about 3JS basics in our previous tutorial at the link below. Then I will add a soft white ambient light to illuminate our model. And finally, we will set up the WebGL renderer using current viewport aspect ratio and add the output canvas to our page. The basic setup is completed. Next, we'll start loading our model. We'll use GLTF loader class, then use load method to load our model file. Then add our model to the scene and render it when the load is completed in the callback function. What we currently see is the inside of the car. We will need to move the camera outside as well as scale down the car size. I'm going to place the camera in front of the car and rotate it by 45 degrees. Then, to scale down the car, we will get our car model inside the callback function and use scale.set. I'm going to reduce the car size by half. Now you will see that the car is miscolored. This because our only light source, the ambient light, is a light that illuminates all objects in the scene equally from all directions, so it doesn't cast any shadow or reflection. We can fix this by adding other types of light. Let's start with adding directional light from above. I'm going to set the cast shadow property to true and add it to the scene. Then I'm going to also add four point lights and place them around the car. Point light is similar to the light bulb in the real world and automatically casts shadow. Almost finished. Next, we are going to add a 360 degrees viewer that let users rotate the camera. We will use 3JS Orbit Control plugin. First, get the Orbit Controls JS from GitHub and include it to your page. Then, 
Then create a control object from our camera and add change event listener to track the mouse control. Now instead of one-time rendering, we will need to create an animation loop to update the scene when users rotate the camera. Basically, it's the same as our previous tutorial. Just create a function to render the scene and call the request animation frame to start the recursive loop. And that's it. You can find the code of this tutorial in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.